Welcome to your city photo booth. Today I'm going to show you how to change the DNP 620A. My company recently just switched to this printer because of the size, the portability, and the speed of it compared to the DNP DSRX1 that they just discontinued. And I went online and one of my employees asked, how do you change the paper? And I'm like, well, it's the same as the RX1, but there was no videos out there to show it. So today I'm going to show you how to do it. Very, very basic. There's a switch, up, there's a little handle on the bottom that will open up the print tray. And there's a blue lever that we're going to pop up. And in order to put the paper in, you got to remove the um, print tray, the catch tray, and always empty that out after every event. Make sure because otherwise things get jammed in there and then your printer won't work. But after you do that, just like any other of the DNP printers, you have your two sides for your paper. So we'll pull out a brand new roll of paper, pull off the label, and we'll just put the one side on and the other side on, super simple. We're gonna place this in here, and you can see that the paper is going on top, so I'll show you right now. So here's your paper like that. When you put it in, you don't have to put it like this. I just want to show you that that's how it goes in. Now you're going to roll it back till it double beeps. And it should do that right now. So once it double beeps, that means your paper is in there, right? Always don't forget to put your um, catch tray in there. After that's done, you're going to put the ink, and the ink in and the ink has a tray for it. So it slides in like that. So we'll pull out the ink tray, pull out the ink. And then the yellow goes on the top left hand corner and then the right side of that snaps into place and then the rest is the same and literally what we're going to do is just going to slide it in now once we close it it's going to always print five times so once it prints five times you know everything's aligned the printer's all set and you can hear it doing that right now. There's always extra paper, so don't think you're wasting paper. There's always, you always end up with extra paper in every roll. So once you change the paper, you also will change the ink. Always do that, because otherwise, sometimes you're gonna run out and you're gonna be like, what happened? So you can see that it printed the four. Now it's actually just gonna print one more just to make sure it's right. And that's it. And your, and your printer is loaded and ready to go.